Hey, we're Band of Skulls and you're watching Ambi. Hey everyone, it's Alicia from Ambi and I would like to welcome you to our interview with Band of Skulls. Hello. Hello. Hey. How are you all doing today? We're doing very well. We're quite warm. It's a hot day. But yeah, we're good. We're good. <laughs> it's a very hot day, but we appreciate you taking the time to sit out with us today. So thank you. You're welcome. Yeah, we're happy to be here back in Toronto. Yeah. Amazing. It's been a while. It's been a couple it's been of a years. Been a while. Yeah. So good to be back. I just want to kick things off by diving right into your latest album release by default. How does it feel to have finally unleashed this new record for all your fans? Matt? Feels really good. <laughs> um, <laughs> Uh, yeah, it's nice because you make a record and then you have to kind of, we've lived with it now for about a year and a half, mm -hmm. but you have to wait for it to be released. And so um, it feels very, uh, it's very, it's very re rewarding to finally give the songs out to other people. Yeah. Just for a different experience, I know you recorded this record in a church and I love how you actually didn't give away the name and said people had to buy the vinyl and yeah. look in the sleeve. I that's thought that a, was extremely clever. That's, that's a cheap shot, isn't it? <laughs> But it is in there. If you are interested, listeners, uh, yeah. No, it was in Southampton, in our hometown. And, um, yeah, we did all of our writing in this church. And it kind of really influenced how we went about writing the songs, even. Like, um, when you hit a drum in a church, you kind of got that big reverby sound. And I guess you wait for that sound to stop before you do something else. And it kind of started to write the songs with us, in a sense. Yeah, yeah the church became kind of an instrument to yeah. sort of learn how to play. Just recording in a church is such a unique experience, but if you could record or perform anywhere, no matter how bizarre out there it is, where would that place be? Uh, Hawaii. Hawaii. Okay. We were. We were. Really? Hawaii. We, we were. <laughs> we were going to play in Antarctica once. Oh yes, yeah, true. That, that lots of things nearly happened with. Not bands. even lying. Like, we were so this it, close. It I don't know what happened right at the end, but um, we were going to be. We were going to be the first rock band to play on yeah. Antarctica, but somebody else pipped us to the post yeah think. first band in space <laughs> you know these these emails come and like oh, are you sure about this yeah okay we're up for it and then some of these things these, they happen some don't that one didn't you never thank know. god maybe. <laughs> <laughs> you say maybe one day you yeah. never happen to know yeah, yeah we like to say yes to most things you know a big mission for this album was to go back to square one kind of bare bones what was it like essentially starting from scratch Terrifying. Um, no, it's good. You have a little refreshing moment. You have to take stock of what you've done before. But we're always quite, uh, we're always trying not to repeat ourselves. And the more records that we have, I think that becomes a more interesting concept. And uh, it's a more of a challenge to try and do something new for us, mainly for ourselves. And then hopefully the songs and ideas that survive, we can share. You know. For me, when I listen to the record, I'd have to say my favorite song is This Is My Fix. I love how in the middle you can hear, almost like you threw your own little party going on. You have the drinks clashing together, some chit-chatting in the background. Take us into that atmosphere. What was it like behind the scenes? <laughs> it was just like that. Yeah. So you did throw a party? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I think so. We were with Gil, Gil Norton and us, we had a bit of a party. We kind of, we woke up one morning with a really bad hangover. And uh, and then on the record that happened, so we don't quite know what happened the night before. <laughs> yeah. But um, it ask Gil. He had the microphone. Yeah. It sounded very civilized. It was more of like a soiree dinner party sort of thing, you know. Okay. Yeah. Very very, very English. Very highbrow. Very high. <laughs> very, yeah, very classy. There's a song on the album called Black Magic where you ask them to put their black magic all over you. For you guys, do you believe in black magic or things that are more superstitious, it's supernatural? Yeah. It's you all do. about the voodoo, that one. Yeah. The, hoop, the voodoo that you do. The voodoo that you do. <laughs> yeah, for sure. I think there's a little bit of a, that. You you have to believe in it, right? It's you know what goes around comes around. The whole karma thing. The, you know. We're superstitious. Yeah. I think so. Okay. Yeah, because you know if you do any kind of performing or I guess if you do anything that needs a bit of luck on your side, maybe if you do sports or something, people get into these weird rituals and um, you don't stop doing it when things are going well because you think that some you know the lucky rabbit's foot's the thing that's making you play well or whatever mm -hmm. or the uh, the, the ambi bracelet. wristbands right you know, <laughs> that'll be the next thing <laughs> one thing I've noticed and it kind of seems like it's the start of an ongoing joke is you've been tweeting out photographs of tattoos and then asking fans Emma's next tattoo question mark so where did this whole thing begin are you looking to get a, a tattoo um, kind of kind uh, of some days yes some days no okay 
more no at the moment. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm just trying some stuff out. You know, okay. who knows? Maybe in the future. Yeah. It's interesting because people, um, we've seen a few fans like show us some tattoos they've got with like lyrics and stuff from the songs, and it's quite um, amazing seeing the responses sometimes you get from that. You know, people saying, "Oh no, I do have a real tattoo, and it is." You know, to do with a song lyric or yeah, something. Which the is fact kind that of they're like willing to bit put Banner Skulls tattoos on their body and we can't decide even like um, you know, anything. Yeah. <laughs> that's about it, isn't it? Yeah, we love that's tattoos of the, ba- the lyrics. That's awesome. That's that's commitment. Oh, absolutely. Right? Yeah. Well, love if, that. if you were to get a spontaneous tattoo right now in Toronto, what do you think your next tattoo would possibly be? I'm into falconry, a bit of a hobby, so maybe a bird of prey somewhere. Okay. Um, so we're yeah, in I'd get one like just down here, which like probably <laughs> probably being like Chinese like writing written, it would mean like special peace number and serenity. F- yeah, <laughs> special <laughs> number five, rice. Yeah. Let's do wrap things up today. Is there anything you want to say to all of your fans who are going to be viewing the interview? Just any parting words? Um, just we're really happy to be back on tour and um, back into Canada, and um, yeah, so happy to play our songs uh, out live again. So. If you can come and see us, that's great. If not, we'll be back really soon. And um, thank you for supporting us. I just want to say a big thanks for chatting with us today. We appreciate it. Pleasure. Thank you. And remember to everybody viewing, you can visit us at musicblogger.com for all exclusive interviews, features, videos, and so much more with your favorite bands. See you next time.